Man, I'm about to talk real facts, real rap. Toyota, GM, Ford, you thank you. You're welcome. American citizens, you're welcome. Why? Because Tesla has been putting on. Give me the latest on this. Tesla dominates American-made car rankings. Let's, let, let's figure this out, right? In 2024, Tesla Model Y has been recognized as the most American-made vehicle with 87.5% of its parts sourced from the U.S. and Canada. Shout outs to the North America gang. This achievement has sparked a discussion online with many users highlighting Tesla's significant contribution to American manufacturing. Not Toyota, not GM, and not Ford. Shout outs to Tesla. The Model Y ranking at the top of the list was a notable achievement, surpassing traditional American car brands and promoting discussion about the changing landscape of American-made made vehicles. Shout outs to Tesla. Tesla dominates, and its dominance in the list of American-made vehicles was also noted with the Model S and the Model X also landed on the top 10. We got three. We got three of them cars. We got the number one, Model Y, and we got Model S and Model X on the top 10. On the top 10, this recognition has led to a debate amongst users, with some expressing pride in Tesla's American manufacturing, while others maintain that traditional American car brands like Ford still hold the title of the most American vehicle, but it's not made in America. Make the madness make sense to me. Let's take this off. I want to show you guys in clear definition of why we are them boys. Now, hold on. Let's go to the factory in Nevada. Now, as you can see, the land was nothing. And then we built factories. We're bringing jobs back to America. We're bringing industry, manufacturing, made great again. I mean, that has Tesla all written on it. And also, the factories and the manufacturing plants are very advanced. So it's not like it's a bad thing for America. Everyone hates Tesla while they create jobs, right? While they onshore, while they're sourcing straight from America. Other people are outsourcing, going to Asia, going to X, you name the country and the region. But we are here with the horses, people out there working in the mountains, in the valley, in the snow, rain, hail, sleet, or snow, getting it done. But do we get props? No, we don't. There's no thank you. Nothing like that. Okay, let's go. We got the next one. We got Fremont. Right? Welcome Another to Tesla factory. Fremont. Welcome to Tesla Fremont. Another factory of us getting the job done. Do we get some respect put on our name? No, we don't. It's like, at what point can we become the most American by sourcing all the actual parts and items in America, building more factories in America, creating more jobs in America, pushing the envelope in America, and we still don't get the recognition. Not only jobs that are directly hired, but indirect, right? Indirect jobs, we don't get the props for that neither. I mean, come on, it's mad. Look at the floor, look at the factory. And what's fascinating about those people who work on the floor in the factory, not only are they paid pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, but also they have a good amount of money. Why? Because they invest in an actual company. Yeah, that's right. They invest their money into the company. So therefore they get good returns. They got stock options, stock rewards. All they got to do is do their job and they're getting stock rewards. We're building the biggest factory in the planet. We're beating China. China's sitting back like, wow, Tesla, you want to open up 100% ownership in China? No problem. We're trying to sit back, watch, see how you move, steal the IP as we usually do. Shout outs to China. That's their strategy. And, and put ourselves on. Put BYD on. Put NEO on. Put all these other different types of factories that we have. We used to be the top dogs. Yes, you have a lot of factories. You have the quantity. We have the quality. And so here we go. It doesn't get more American than that bringing the old Ford tradition back. We're changing the assembly line, revising it, making it great or greater than it's ever been. And still, there's no respect put on to the name of Tesla and Elon Musk. Other companies can get bailed out and y'all still got love for them? 
y'all still buying their cars but at the same time you want politicians or corporations to be more loyal but you're not loyal you're unfaithful you're not loyal you're not a ride or die but you want the nation to be right or die like even when i showed you the factory in fremont look at this let me show you the proof the proof is in the pudding right tesla fremont factory is an automobile manufacturing plant in Fremont, California, United States, operated by Tesla Inc. Put some respect on the name. The factory originally opened as General Motors, right, in 1962. And then it was operated by New United Manufacturing, a joint venture with GM and Toyota from 1984. The joint venture ended when GM entered bankruptcy in 2009. And they got your bailout money. You remember that? In 2010, Toyota agreed to sell the plant to Tesla at a significant discount because it was hurting and we bought it. And in 2023, the Fremont factory produced nearly 560K vehicles and employed over 20,000 people. Tesla says the factory has the capacity to produce up to 100,000 Model S and Model X vehicles and 550 Model Y and Model 3 vehicles annually. But prior to that, it was nothing. Tesla planned to build a factory in New Mexico, right? It was supposed to begin somewhere else. They got canceled. And then we went to California and we bought it from Toyota. It was looking to sell the plant to somebody else. And it didn't work out. And they used to produce 428K vehicles, ICE vehicles, that is. We were producing 550 of a new type of technology. Shout out to the EV. Efforts were made to keep the facility in use. The state offered incentives to Toyota out here cutting back taxes for these rookies and slackies. Toyota, yeah, the guys you ride on every day talking about Toyota's undefeatable. It's the best car in the galaxy. And here we go. Elon, Tesla outbeating them, but still no respect. Other automakers, including Tesla, toured the facility and a stadium was considered, but none of them seceded in 2010. The mayor of Fremont viewed the site as dead right however the company was able to reach a deal with toyota and pay 42 million for most of the site significantly undervalued because they had no other choice dead property right it ain't making no numbers it ain't performing and it's built out specifically in a particular way so not anybody can just take the lease and just utilize the property and as a part of the agreement toyota would also purchase 50 million of common stock shout out to tesla great move thank you toyota so Toyota believed in the company. Toyota put money in Tesla. And Tesla officially took possession, right? The state of California awarded 15 million in tax credits and investment goals were met and people got hired. And we started winning, but still can't put no respect on our name. Sad. Let me end out with our latest venture, which is Texas, Austin, Texas which if nobody's actually familiar with Austin, Texas, a lot of the property value has skyrocketed because of what? Businesses like Tesla. Bring in the factory, bring in the jobs, bring in the economics to Texas. Barren land turned into what? A manufacturing facility. And this is just the beginning, guys. You're still clocking cars. I'm clocking batteries. The biggest factory in the world from nothing is something. Shh. Come on. And people still look at this and still don't put respect on Tesla's name. This is not good enough. And the majority of people who say that, they turn doorknobs for a profession and they're not a carpenter. <laughs> like, what do you do to say that this company's why? How do you conjure up in your mind and justify that Ford, GM, and all these lackeys are the American vehicle. Made in China, but made but American made American vehicle. What? Made in somewhere else. Come on. Made in Japan, but it's the most American car. Like y'all, hatred runs that deep. Word. Come on. Think about it. The most American made car is Tesla, and they save Toyota and GM and all you lackeys and normies and NPCs. Tune in.
Everyone hates Tesla. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can learn about a real American company, a real American story, a real American dream. Support the dream.